Hi everybody, it's Christina Mascari from Pretty Distressed. Welcome back to Jolie's YouTube channel. Today's video is gonna be all about refinishing this desk that I'm sitting in front of. I'm gonna give it a modern look and paint it black. I'm gonna be using Jolie paint, waxes, and their brushes, as well as their everyday guide to show you how easy it is to get this type of look for yourself at home. So if you wanna learn how to get a clean, modern finish on a piece of furniture that you have in your house, just keep watching. This video is in partnership with Jolie Paint, so I'm gonna be using their paint in Noir. It's a really rich black color. I'm gonna be using their waxes and their brushes. You'll typically find me distressing and making things really shabby and lots of brush strokes. That's just kind of my style, but I know not everyone is that way, and I do get a lot of questions of people wanting a smooth, modern finish. So that's what I'm gonna be trying out today. Something that I love about Jolie is just how passionate they are about making furniture painting accessible to everybody. So they have this everyday guide that just breaks down the very, very basics of furniture painting that is so simple for even a beginner to understand. It's gonna tell you all about the products, the different brushes you can use, and the different techniques for getting different types of finishes. I will link the PDF version that they have on their website down in the description box. So for the smooth finish, the materials you're gonna need are Jolie paint in the color of your choice, their clear finishing wax, their flat brush, a wax brush, a fine sanding pad, lint-free cloths, water, and a mixing container. The very first thing that you wanna do before we even jump into painting or sanding or anything is give your piece a good scrubbing. So I'm gonna get some really warm water and a little bit of a mild soap like Dawn, and I'm just gonna rub down the entire piece to get all the dust and grime off of it. After I am done scrubbing my piece down, I go back in with a clean, wet, towel just to wipe all the suds and residue off. This piece has a lot of detailed hardware and I don't want to get that messed up and I think it's going to be easier to take it off than tape it so I'm just going to remove everything. The first step in creating the smooth finish is you want to have a really smooth surface before you start painting. So I'm going to take one of Jolie's medium grit sandpaper and I'm just going to get rid of any gouges or scratches or watermarks and I'm going to do that by sanding in the direction of the grain. So you can just see these little vertical lines running up and down and you just want to be going and following those lines when you're sanding. You also want to make sure you don't have any gouges or dings in the wood so you can fill those up with wood filler and sand them down. Once you're done sanding just take a clean cloth or a tack cloth and wipe away all that dust before you start painting. Before you open your paint, just turn it upside down and shake it for about 30 seconds to get everything stirred up. If it's been sitting for a long time, it's a good idea to flip the can upside down and let it sit there for a couple hours before you start painting. It's just gonna help evenly distribute the pigment that's been sitting at the bottom of the can. After you shake it, you wanna open the lid and stir it really well using a stir stick and moving the paint around and getting all that stuff up from the bottom. When I'm going for a smooth look, I always thin my paint out a little bit. So it's important to pour it in a separate container so you don't contaminate the paint in the can. I use a spray bottle because I think it's just easier. So I just do about five to 10 sprays on my first coat. And then I usually bump that up for my second coat, probably like 15 to 20 sprays. And I also spray my brush as well. So dip my paint and I get the excess off. I'm gonna start at one end and just drag it at a 45 degree angle. And the paint will start coming off like that. And at that point when it does that, I go back and forth. And it's okay to do this as long as you're going in the same direction as the grain of the wood. So don't start painting in all different directions. Just go back and forth like this. And once I like the coverage that I have and it's all filled in, I'll take my brush and go all the way back to the front and pull it in one long stroke across just to get rid of any of that stop start motion. And on your next pass, you're gonna overlap a little bit. And once that paint runs out, I can go back in this direction. And I'm just gonna smooth all this out. There's, there's a lot of paint here, so I'm just gonna smooth that all the way down. In fact, I have enough paint that I'm gonna just do this. Okay. And since this is all still wet, I'm gonna go back in and do that long stroke across. This flat brush is really great to use because it's gonna alleviate some of those brush marks. And something you really need to watch out for that is difficult to correct later. Drip marks like this. 
So you just wanna make sure that you're smoothing out any globs that you see like that. They're easier to fix when they're wet than have to go back in and sand it. An important thing to know is your first coat is not gonna cover the wood completely. So if you see some wood still peeking through after that first coat dries, that is totally normal. The second coat's gonna cover it up. I'm really happy with the way my first coat is looking. I don't have any drip marks or big streaks. So I am not gonna sand in between coats, but if you did have any imperfections, this is the point where you can take a very fine sandpaper and just smooth down this coat a little bit. I did decide to smooth out the top with some sandpaper. Getting the top of a desk or a table or a dresser smooth is usually the hardest part of a project. So a little cheat thing that you can do is get a roller to actually roll out the top. Just make sure you get one that's for smooth application. Now I definitely don't recommend rolling your whole piece. Rollers soak up a lot of paint and it is gonna waste a lot of paint if you roll the entire piece. And the brush really does do the job on the smaller sections. It's just sometime on the top, it can be a little tricky to get everything smooth. So I think a roller is a quick cheat way to get a smooth finish on the top. Now that my final coat has been dry for 20 minutes or more, I am going to seal my piece. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of wax on my wax brush and I'm gonna work in manageable sections about two to three square feet at a time. And I'm just gonna go back and forth um, with the finishing wax, working it into the paint. Don't really think of it laying on top. You wanna think more of this paint is really porous and I wanna push that wax in it. Think about it like hand lotion. You rub it in, you rub it in. Your paint color may darken a little bit after the wax is applied. And after you get that on in that smooth sweeping motion, again, moving with the brush strokes of the paint, then you're gonna take your lint-free cloth, applying medium pressure, and you're gonna wipe it back and forth in that same direction you put your wax on. If your cloth gets all clogged up with wax, you just wanna to move to a different clean area of the cloth, so you might need several cloths to do the whole piece. Then after you wipe that section down, you're just gonna continue on to the next unwax section and just repeat the step of putting the wax on with the brush in that manageable two to three feet section, and then you're gonna take your clean cloth and wipe it down and just keep going over the entire piece piece until you're finished. And for large areas like the top after I wax the entire thing, I'm going to do a very thin coat of clear in a big sweeping motion from one side to side just to even out the finish. So in one to two hours this wax is going to be dry. You'll know that it's dry when it's no longer cool to the touch and then I'm going to go back in with one of these Jolie fine sanding pads just to smooth it out just a little bit more for my second coat of wax. Then I'm going to take a damp cloth and just wipe away any dust I've created. Then I'm going to let that dry off for a little bit and then come back in and do that final coat of wax. If you want to do multiple coats of wax, just wait eight hours in between. It's gonna just give your surface more durability. The wax cures and hardens in two weeks, so during that time, don't set anything on top of it and just be really careful with it. I let this sit in my son's room for a couple of weeks, and then I actually added the hardware back on. Just to remind you, here is what we started out with with my dumpster dive desk, and here it is made over with Jolie paint using the smooth finish. This was really out of the box for me, but the Jolie Everyday Guide made it really easy. It helped me along every single step of the way. Thank you guys for watching this all the way to the end. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you guys next time.